here we are. Um, this is the kit, uh, what it looks like for the Auto DIY Plus. Um, the only change is instead of using the Tower Pro metal, uh, metal geared servos, I'll be using the little micro S. G90s which are plastic based but for this project it's fine. Now I shall go through all the parts to start off with. Um, in the components we have got the Nano which is already installed onto the Nano extension um, shield. They have We have the ultrasonic module, the buzz module. Uh, these are the touch sensors which we'll be using. Now there is this Bluetooth module but I will be using this in later YouTube videos to show you how to use them in more advanced tutorials. Okay, So we'll take this out for the time being. Now we also have the USB cable. You should get this when you get this. The nano board. The Arduino nano board. You get some jump leads. We also get the battery holder. And it has these one of these switches. Just push in. Push in. Just click it and it comes out. I have alternative ones. You can get a standard single pole switch as well. And you can get these as well. And these actually fit well into the hole that this one fits. Okay, that's the standard auto switch. But you can also substitute the, it for this one. And this fits in the hole quite well. Okay. We actually have, as I said, the body. You have pockets for the sensors. And this, if you want to print out, is one the same one that's used for the auto DIY standard auto as well as the auto plus and that's the head this is the original auto plus head I purchased a while back and has a little slot for one of these sensors so you would slot it in that way okay and we'll go into that in the build. Now, next we have the legs. Now these legs have got these nodules. Uh, these are new design. I'm not particularly keen on them, but we will build it because most kits have come with these. And then they, the feet. Extra parts you will need. You do if you have the kit supplied with a screwdriver. If you don't have the kit, just find yourself a cross or fillet screwdriver with a long shank. I actually keep a file with me so that um, if you need to file down parts of the 3D things, like sometimes you have to file these parts, it's very useful. So always have a file around. And I also use this. This is a, a magnetizer for your screwdriver. This is so it makes it so easy to pick up the screwdrivers, especially when you have to go down into the feet or into the body. Much more useful. Now everybody's been asking about batteries. Now these are rechargeables in a 1.2 volts, but they actually have a high uh, energy performance, they call them, which is 2,600 milliamps. I use this in my di digital DSLR camera, and I find they work fine with these. You know, everybody says, oh, they're only 4.8 volts altogether. But they work fine on the 5 volts of the board. That's where I will have the two soda pins in and had had no trouble. 
Nano board does run up about 4.8 or 4.2, some say. Uh, so, plies, always useful. And now we'll get on with the build.